So we developed this four quarters program to touch the four core areas that we believe that can help within team building. So um, just to walk you through, I mean, the first quarter is leadership. Because we all know that leadership is, is a prime example. It's, it's the walking testimony of how you should run your program. You know, you need high quality leaders. And we've all seen that at different levels. Every time we went to a final four, we had a leader. Leadership is a big quality. So that's why it's the first quarter. So do it in the first quarter, we break it down, we show you what's your leadership style compared to what style of leadership you might think that you should have to get your team to the next level. Uh, and then that leads us right into the second quarter. The second quarter is your culture. You know, what type of atmosphere are you building within your team? Like, is it an atmosphere where you accept players walking around? Because personally, I don't think that that's a championship atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a huge part of your team building process. And that leads us into our third quarter, which is the process. You know, the process, which is, which is key when we talk about player development, when we talk about like, what are the things you're going to be committed to? Everybody has a meeting at the beginning of the year and they talk about they're going to win games, they're going to win the conference. We're going to work gonna... harder than everybody else. We're going to push our Yes. Everybody has that meeting. Every single team. But somebody ends up in last. So what happened in between that meeting and the meeting where the person ended up in first? It's what are you committed to doing every single day, whether you feel like doing it or whether you don't feel like doing it. These are the core areas that you have to touch. You cannot have a successful team if you're not willing to go through what it takes to get there, which is the grind, man. You got to trust the grind. You got to let every player on your team know these are the expectations that we live by at our school. If you don't, if you can't see yourself with these expectations, you don't need to be here. Some coaches aren't willing to have those tough conversations. So they let stuff ride and they let things go on and on. And the, the great coaches that I've been around, a Michelle Clark Hurd, a Jeff Walls, a Matt Daniel, all of these type of coaches, they don't allow those type of things. And, that, and that's really what's gonna take you to the next level and leads you right into that fourth quarter, which is your performance. Mm -hmm. We can sit here and have a great conversation but if we don't go out and put that work in, that's all it is. It's just words. It's about your performance. When you get to that fourth quarter, I'm talking about everybody's tired. Yep. Everybody's legs hurt. Everybody's is really hurting. That's why I call this program the game within the game. Like you gotta play the game that nobody's talking about. You gotta do the things that nobody else is doing. And as a coach, it doesn't stop with just you and the players. You gotta go beyond that. You gotta pull things out of yourself. You can't ask a player to go work out if you ain't working out. Starts at the head. If the head coach doesn't work out, it's hard to tell the players you should be working out. So it's also very, very self-reflective. You have to self-evaluate.